That's what I want to ride through. This is gnarly though. Oh! That was so scary. I can't explain how excited I am that I did that. Snowbox. <laughs> what? What up Team Hulk Owls? We made it to Washington. We're at Crystal Mountain and my brother asked me, who's with me on this trip, what's special about Crystal Mountain? And I have, I have no clue. I was like, I don't, know. I don't even know where the mountain is. It's just puking snow out there, absolutely dumping. So we're gonna have a sick day today. We might find some pow. We might not find each other. I don't know, it's, it's hard to see. Like, puking. It's also nine degrees outside, so it's gonna be a cold one. But you guys want to know what else is nasty? Today's sticker shout out. We got Aiden McMillan with the gal or the, the Northern Light Evolution sticker on the snowboard. Looking so sick, man. Thank you so much for supporting the channel, snagging an evolution sticker, as well as the Fish 23 with the white sticker on the board. Guys, thank you so much. Snagging stickers and merch is how we do these trips and stuff like that. So guys, thank you so much for snagging an evolution sticker. If you want one, guys, they're linked in the description. If you do snag them, tag me on Instagram and I'll give you guys gear and sticker shout outs, but also follow my Instagram. It's how you know I'm headed to Washington. It's how you know what the trip looks like. We're headed to the East Coast. If you want to know what the East Coast trip is going to look like, follow my Instagram because I'm posting not only the schedules there, but also bonus content. Follow the Instagram. And I wanted to do the sticker shout out in the car because I have a feeling it's going to be super nasty out there today. So enough talking. Which one are you rocking today? Oh, dude. The okay. green, green lightning. Ooh, is that new? Yeah, it's special. There's, I'm the only one with it. Dang. Yeah. Very nice. All right, let's go snowboard. What is this thing? like tradition now every time i travel somewhere it get absolutely puked on and we have a sick pow day this is nuts and i'm happy it happened because the snow underneath i think there's like a good four inches five inches here maybe even six i'm just gonna keep counting but the snow underneath is hard so it's uh it's nice and soft it's uh west coast snow though it's a little heavier than that colorado champagne light snow still this is gonna be a sick day found the park We'll come back for that though, so we get more pal.
hard turns. Alright guys, I'm blown away. There's some gnarly terrain here. I wasn't expecting that. I heard Crystal had some good stuff, but it's gnarly, it's fun, it's steep, it's deep. So we're super stoked. We're kind of just jumping chairlift to chairlift to chairlift, seeing what is all out here and then lap some park. I don't know, we're just going with the flow. Whenever the trees bend down the mountain from like the snow landing on it and pushing it downwards, I always think of the Grinch, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so I saw this really cool chute. It's like two rocks, you go in between them from the chairlift. That's what I'm looking for right now. So we gotta find it. Oh, I missed it. I missed it. That's what I want to ride through. <sighs> Got it. Got to ride back. So me and my brother got separated. He ends up going too far to the bottom of the mountain. I'm still in this bowl and I'm blown away at how little people are actually riding. I feel like it's opposite here from Colorado where it, with snow like this, the extreme terrain is getting blasted with people and the mellow stuff is like not so bad. And right now it's like no one's riding the extreme stuff. Everyone's riding the mellow stuff. So, I mean, I'm not complaining. I missed the rock drop and had an insane power line, but it looks like it's gonna be a little tricky getting in. It looks like I might have to hop a couple of rocks or like just beat my board up. Getting into the chute between the rock. It looks so cool though. I really do want to ride through this uh, thing. I blame heli snowboarding. Every time I go heli snowboarding, I get out. I'm like, dude, I want to ride gnarly. And so if you missed the heli video, check that video out right there. But yeah, I just want to ride some steep and deep gnarly terrain because it's fun. But I really do wish, and I'm really feeling it today, that I was on my pal snowboard, if not just a camber snowboard, which like camber snowboard on a pow day, that doesn't make sense. But this thing is just so noodly and park and jibby that when I rip these bowls, I get tossed. Like I'm, everything that's underneath is just like, <laughs> so um, we're kind of just control falling right now. But isn't that what snowboarding is? Just controlled falling? Uh, I don't know, enough talking. We're going back. We're gonna get that rock. Look at that. I'm gonna get a shot of my phone because it actually will show what it looks like. This is gnarly though. Whenever I'm about to do something like this, I wish I didn't have a stick and I wish I had it like, on my head. <sighs> Makes you wonder if that's an easier entrance. If I can get over there.
try a different entrance. This looks more my style. This is the bushes on that side that made me all nervous. This is a little more clean cut. Let's go. I can't explain how excited I am that I did that. Oh, my adrenaline's. But to do it by myself, my little brother's not at that level, so he wasn't gonna do it with me anyways to just like commit and like big mountain riding not that I snowboard I barely have edges on this board that was sick that's why I love snowboarding scare yourself like that come on now we're gonna go ride some park we rode the mountain Look at these trees. That's like the coolest part about snowboarding in a different state. I've never snowboarded with trees like this. And I've snowboarded California, but California trees are not Washington trees. And Oregon trees aren't Oregon, or they're different. Every tree is different at every state you go to. That is some scary forest. Guys, it's a snow box. A box made out of the snow. Now, I have a snow box video. I actually have two snow box videos. So go watch Snow Box 1, the movie, Snow Box 2, the movie. Something like, I don't know the names of them, but I've never seen a snow box at a ski resort. And I'm really excited. Park's not bad, it's creative, and it had a snow box, which literally just made my life. There's a littler park we're gonna go check out there, and I think we're good for the day. It's cold, and um, we got family out in Washington. That's who we're staying with, so we're gonna just spend some time with the families, too. But let's check out this smaller park. Too much pow in the park, which is whatever. It's a pow day, it's not a park day. We just wanted to check them out because I do resort review videos. So we gotta go at least go through them, see what kind of park they had. So when I make that resort review, I, I know, I remember. Super sick. Yeah, we're out of here, man. It was good riding. Nice to meet you. It was awesome. Thank you so much for everything. Not much of my little brother Ben in today's video, but it's, it's big mountain riding, stuff like that. It's, it's follow cams almost impossible and stuff like this. Ben's also rocking a busted ankle this trip. He can ride, he's just not 100%. Yeah, they base in the jam. So for some reason riding that trailer thing, there's this urge to just jump off. I, I was highly contemplating it. <laughs> Maybe that's why we have covered buses. We're from Florida this trip, guys. All right, guys. And just where we started the, the video, we're gonna end it. First time ever snowboarding in Washington. That was sick. I was not expecting that gnarly of terrain. And now I think all I'm expecting for the rest of this trip is gnarly terrain, which is fine with me. I think it's supposed to snow the whole time we're out here. Once again, the snow travels with us. So we're gonna be riding four resorts out here. Crystal was the first one, and we did make sure we got our crystal pin, the red gondola, which also has a green gondola. I'm really mad at the red and green one. 
but I heard it's the only gondola in Washington, which is really cool. And we rode that uh, and we got a sick line underneath it. So stoked on the gondola shredding and overall today was a sick day. It was a cold day. I, I don't mind it dumping. I just hope it gets a little warmer. <laughs> but if you guys are into collecting pins at all the ski resorts you go to as well, I do have an evolution pin. So that is linked in the merch store as well as once again, the hoodies, t-shirts, long sleeves, any of the merch guys. Uh, appreciate you guys snagging them because that's how I get to do trips like this. And this was an insane fun day. I can't believe I'm snowboarding in Washington. And we got three more days of ripping. I'm really excited about that. Also guys, make sure if you like this video, you smash that like button. The almighty YouTube algorithm will bless me if you smash it. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button because I want to not only show you all the ski resorts in the United States, that's the goal, is to ride every resort in the United States and we're finally at a new resort. So go check out the map. It's a map of the United States that has all the ski resorts on it and where I've been. And when you hover over each spot, it shows you like the videos there. It's one of the coolest little map how we're going to track us riding every resort in the United States. It's pretty sick. So subscribe and check out that link. I don't know what else to say. So with that, Team Up Guys, thank you so much for shredding with us today. And as always, thanks for watching. Keep evolving. We'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. I'm on top of the ocean, living like life ain't frozen. Feeling my feet been chosen for something other than motion, yeah. Mama told me I'ma be somebody. I ain't ever gonna need nobody, no. I wish you guys knew that he does it. He does this all the time.